hello friends uh, today I am going to tell you how you can upload files to your WordPress website using FTP so it's pretty easy for this you need to log in to uh, your first FTP account using your host username password and port and connect it okay so download FTP and this uh, connect your uh, website to your FTP using the credential you can get this uh, FTP details, details uh, from your web hosting then uh, you need to uh, select a file which you want to upload to your website so in this uh, video I'm showing you how, how to upload a plugin so I have just downloaded this plugin and you can see this plugin here ultimate social media icon I want to upload it to my WordPress website using FTP so here I need to go to a specific uh, folder like WP content and I need to select plugins and here I need to upload this ultimate social uh, social media plugin so what I need to do it do is just click over it and drag it and drop it here and now you can see this file is transferring transferring this you can see here three files and seven directories total size is 7530 bytes so you can see transfer is going on and uh, it's very interesting and you can use this FTP to easily download as many files as you want and uh, I've been using it for a long long time and uh, it's a pretty much easy process and I have ne never faced any issue and uh, in case I have mistakenly sorry downloaded any wrong file so it's, it provides an option to delete that file I will also show you in this video how to delete a wrong file. I will down just upload the video and then, then delete it so that you can see how uh, the things work. Uh, and uh, this will reflect in my WordPress website as well. Here in the uh, dashboard, it will it will show that plugin. Once download download is complete, it will show this plugin as of now downloading is still uh, in process you can see here so as per the, your internet speed uh, downloading will happen and the uploading will happen and uh, it totally depends on your internet speed and connection to your server that's that that is also matter that does matter a lot I would frankly say you the web hosting service you select affects your website a lot so I would suggest you to take a right web hosting company so that you can get the successful things you can see there are so many internal files in this that's why it's taking a little bit a longer time So this is uh, this video is for beginners because advanced users can easily upload files and work on them as per their wish. So th for beginners, uh, this is the right video, and whosoever is start trying to start with uh, this thing, and then they can easily upload files and see if it works for them. So I would suggest you to upload as many files as you want but be sure to uh, upload them on right folders to work on them effectively as this is there is no use of uploading
files and files and a wrong folder and such things so make sure to use a uh, proper uh, formatting and uh, upload them properly and you should be aware of what you are doing you can see here uh, I have successfully transferred 198 files so it has internet it is, it's a big plugin so that's why it's taking time so I think uh, now you will be able to do it it's a big plugin size is too much so that's why it's taking a little bit a longer time so it's else it's a very easy process and uh, if it, the file size is less then it will be downloaded pretty easily so uh, I think uh, it is a helpful video for you now and now you will be able to download as many files just drag it and drop it or you can right click over it or click on upload it's very easy and if you want to delete it, any, any files just right click over it and click on delete button so the files will be deleted or you can rename it or you can create a directory there are so many options that you will be using whenever you need them so I think now you will be able to do this process pretty easily and this is a helpful video for you so thank you for watching this video bye bye and take care